when we speak, when we speak loudly or sing or shout, um, there are always some droplets produced. And those pass around the edges of masks that are not tightly fitted. They can also pass through our masks. And so the, the better filter we have and the better fit we have, the more protection we have against these small, highly infectious droplets. It provides a barrier protection against large droplets. It is not efficient at protecting against small droplets and aerosols. It is better than nothing, but it's a lot less protective than a surgical mask or a KN95 or N95. There are some that have a little exhalation valve, or even two on the front of the mask. And those people find easier to breathe with because when you breathe out, the little valve just opens and lets the air out. So they're more comfortable, but they are really not at all efficient because you can imagine your breath goes right out into the room unfiltered. And so anyone who's carrying an asymptomatic infection would simply have the equivalent of not wearing a mask. The surgical mask is the next step up. And it is uh, made of a standardized um, three layers that are meant also to prevent against large droplet contamination. A surgical mask does not fit tightly. And so small aerosols and, and droplets will get around the edges of the mask going in either direction. So they are an improvement on cloth because they are a better filter, but they still don't fit firm, you know, tightly enough to really give people significant protection. The KN95 is rated to filter 95% of particulate and droplets down to three microns in size. So that is the same as the N95. The difference is there is some difference in the materials used depending on the area of manufacture, the country of manufacture. And the KN95 is much, much better than the surgical mask in terms of its effectiveness. It was originally designed in China as a counterpart to the N95 that is certified by NIOSH. KN95s are not certified by NIOSH. They are not respirators um, the way an N95 is. But they were tested in China and rated to allow only up to 8% leakage of air around the mask, whereas you have 30% or more leakage around a surgical mask. But the N95 is made to be fit tested. It will fit and make a complete seal on your face. It always has two loops that go right around your head. And this respirator, it's rated basically the same for filtering, but it doesn't allow anything around the mask. Get it fitted over the nose, and then make sure that the straps are both behind the head. Some people cross them, and some people just put them above and below. There are N95s that are sold in uh, hardware stores and um, places like Lowe's. They're typically hard and shaped like this in some manner. They are really just meant for dust. Um, they are not made to filter droplets. And this one, you can see there is no N95 and NIOSH name and TC number on it. This is not a, a mask that is going to perform like a NIOSH certified N95. There must be certification with NIOSH's name on the mask. And NIOSH has to be spelled correctly. Some counterfeits have an incorrect spelling of NIOSH. It also needs the TC number, which you see just down here. And of course, it has to have the loops that go around your head. If you're looking at a product that has no printing on it at all, or has ear loops instead of bands that go around your head, or is missing the TC number or has NIOSH misspelled, then you're looking at a counterfeit. But if you look for these things, then you can feel comfortable that you're wearing a, a NIOSH certified mask. I would just really encourage people to use at least the KN95 right now with Omicron. It is so contagious. If it is in a room, everyone will get it. 
when they're not wearing something at least KN95 level. They are a little more expensive than surgical masks, but not outrageously expensive. The N95s are a little bit more expensive again. But one of these two masks is really the best protection against Omicron.